Tim Stuff Muffin here with more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Okay, this is Tim Stuff. <laughs> I'm back with uh, more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Just, just, I don't know. This is weird trying to get this sound and everything. For me to hear the sound, I got to turn on both the preview and the sound. And that's because I'm using my external mic and headset. So, I guess that's going to work. We'll see. Anyway, we're back and um, where are we? Um, <laughs> I can't remember the name. Not right, I. Anyway, let's see, quest log. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, we were at the Order of St. Benedict. Uh, I'm glad that's over with. <laughs> and uh, we were able to complete our mission. Now the guy is in jail. And Red Time. And we're, oh, Sassau, okay. So, um, we need to, you know, we, we went, after we put him in jail, we met with the bandits. And, um, luckily we ended up killing them. <laughs> we didn't have the proof that we killed, uh, the guy that they wanted me to kill. So they decided to try to kill me, but we killed them, or I killed them. And, um, we still couldn't find out where their hideout is. So as you can see... Yeah, there's a south side there. I, I didn't manage to find out where the bandits have set up camp. Now I have to rebuild, redouble my efforts to find it. I'll try asking around Sasau. Maybe someone there has caught wind of something. Okay, so. We'll probably end up going to the tavern. Oh, I didn't check to see what time it is. Ah, it's evening. 18. Well, let's go down right quick. <clears throat> Since we're right here <laughs> at the tavern. Well, there's one. I think there's. This is an inn. And there's actual a tavern in town. So. Is he over there? Yeah. Let's talk to him first. The innkeeper. I'm at your service, sir. If anything. There's rumors of a large band of brigands nearby. Have you heard anything about it? I have, as it happens. A few days back, a traveling mill hand stopped by and got very drunk. He made such a scene, I had to throw him out. But before then, he was babbling about some encampment. Said he saw a bunch of nasty looking fellows pitching camp at the old stronghold. Vrani. Up here on the hill. Like I said, he was drunk as a lord. But I'm sure he meant Rannick. To think they dare us, right under Sir Hanish's nose. What's that? Oh, nothing. Uh, thank you. You told me exactly what I need to know. Find a clue, yeah. Now the next thing, go to Rannick and find out the foes numbers and plans. Okay. Well, I guess daytime, nighttime, it doesn't matter. Um, we might as well just head on over there. Uh, I'm going to leave my horse. I guess it wouldn't really matter. Because <laughs> we're not going to actually lose our horse. But um, let me show oh, that the wrong way. Let me see. Top button gives you the map. Well, quickly anyway. So let's see. Yeah, there it is, just south of the the hill. You go there any other time? Well, I, yeah, I guess I, I think we tried to go there one time, and we, uh, you know, we were attacked. But and there, you know, there's a lot of guys there, so 
we did we decided to leave um so i can go straight through this way through the uh forest Um, I think I would rather just walk. Because, I mean, yeah, you know, they'll tell you. This is, well, yeah, let's go ahead and get the horse. I mean, you know, it's, the, the good thing about it is you're not going to really lose the horse. You know, uh, if something happens, you'll get the horse back by just whistling so it won't be a big deal save time and uh, uh being that it's dark doesn't make <laughs> i mean the best thing to scope out the base is to wait until it's dark but we're just we're gonna go right inside because we have these dice other one side I think there's three roads going into town this is one we need to go by the oops we need to go by the church and then keep on going and then go up into the woods people you know homes and stuff let's go around this way whoops so many people <laughs> going okay let's see this way now do we go across the Take the map. And if I take this road, or can we? Yeah, we can. Oh, we can take. Would have been better to take this road back here. Or, yeah, yeah, and then go up this. Yeah, go to the right. I guess. Yeah, this one here. <laughs> Still kind of going wrong. Well, I'm facing wrong. I should be facing. Should be going in that way direction. Let's go. We'll go up a little bit and then turn around. I don't know if we can get through this. Yeah. Now we're stuck. In this could be it. This could be it. Yeah. Yeah. It's up on the hill. We can need a horse here. I need to eat. <laughs> uh, let's see if I have any food. Pretzels are bad. I thought I got rid of these. This one's better defended than the other one. <sighs> the other one, at least there was a couple of places you could sneak inside. 
and I think they had the uh, Kunamans or whatever <laughs> they are called. I don't think this one's gonna have. You discovered Bernie. We discovered Bernie before we discovered uh, Fast Travel Point. to peak What quest in progress? I thought this is what we're supposed to be doing. Uh oh. Oh, another way to discover where the bandits are holed up. I should see that they were camped in that old stronghold called Vanek on the hill above the river. The only path to the brigands compound at Brangate leads from the east side of the hill from the Dejko. Now to get in by hook or by crook. I found out the location of the bandit camp. I ought to go to Rai and get work. Oh, that's what they want me to do. Let's just go away from it and then I don't know if I'm on the south side or where am I? Let me see. It is night though, it's dark. <sighs> um I'll go let's go go around, go to where the marker is, the fast travel marker get my torch out they'll probably will swing take me all around here should be able to go see there isn't any way to cross the river <sighs> yeah we'll go to the marker here I mean we could stay overnight but it's all right I I'll just go ahead and go here and then fast travel over to Radic, I mean, uh, Ratai. <laughs> Let me say the name right. What is this? Not a bad guy. Okay. With all the bandits and all the bad folks around, you would think nobody would be walking around by themselves, but. So that's what they want us to do. They want us to let everybody know about it first. Uh oh. See, so it says B. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, they can see us. want to 
accidentally trigger anything. Let me see what it, the map. <sighs> oh, I'm <laughs> for. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, I need to get back to the road. I think that's. I think you're you're inside of the fort. trail is going to take me. Probably will take me right by the fort anyway. So in this opening area, open area. Yes, yeah, so you can see it from here. Cause it's, it's a clearing. There's a road here. Or kind of a road over here. they're gonna some bad guy is gonna come and try to steal from me but we'll avoid them let's see torch 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 move to inventory not all of them just one <laughs> um so go oh, go to me Then map. Yeah, close enough. Let me see. Um, all the way down. See, by the time I get there, it'll be night and they'll be asleep anyway. So I might as well. Where's the marker? We should have a, another way of fast traveling. Having to have a menu or something, a couple pull down menu and you can select from it. Because this is trying to get this thing. So if I go this way, then go to map. Oh, there, see? <laughs> the marker's gone again. Okay, so we have to go straight. I mean, I can't even mark up, you know, a, um, a waypoint or anything. <laughs> Just can't do anything. Okay, all right. Stupid. Find something of a trail. Here. See, it looks far on the map, but when you actually travel, it, you know, you, either that or the horse is real fast. <laughs> but you, it seems like a shorter distance compared to what you're seeing on the map. camp might as well see he doesn't have a torch <laughs> this is discrimination let me see oh cook I don't grab eat oh there you go eat half an hour just to do this okay I think what we'll do is when we get to my room we'll stop the film you know, it's just 30 minutes. We didn't really get anything done. Well, I mean, you know, we're following the quest. And 
and then we'll start again in the morning and we'll start a new video with our uh, torch don't want to bother us and then you, we'll, you know we'll start a new next video and we'll go and talk to Sir Razik and all this and to start a fresh new video okay let's get off go into my room no one will bug me <laughs> come on close the door okay drop my torch I'll drop my torch in my room and the guy will still come and bug me Six is good enough. I'm just gonna save it and then turn everything on. I'm sorry, I won't have my best armor on. Game save. Okay. Okay, we're back with Henry. <laughs> um, let me show every wave one. Where we are. Let me see. Um, quest log. Okay, right at the place where I was supposed to meet the brigands. It's in the middle of the marshland near Sassau. It lit, I lit a fire at the meeting point and waited for the brigands to arrive. The meeting with the Krups didn't quite didn't quite work out, so I had to find another way to discover where the bandits are held up. I succeeded. They were camped at an old stronghold called Vanek Ranik on the hill above the river. The only path to the brigands encampment at Vranik leads from the east side of the hill from the Desco. Now to get in by hook or by crook. I found out the location of the bandit camp. I had to go to Ratai and get word to um, Sir Razing and Sir Hanish. So we're in Ratai now. And uh, let's see. I just should check to see what time it is. Oh, it's 6 in the morning. Yeah, that's right. And I got kind of... You know, I guess foot soldier gear, armor. To one to fit in. <laughs> and um, if I have to, if something happens, I won't have to worry about my gear if it's taken from me. So let me see. I think they're at the other, I got to look at the map, at the other castle. Yeah, they're at the other castle. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get the horse. Or my horse. <laughs> uh, and we'll ride over to the other castle. And what, uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to talk to them, and then we're going to end up going back to uh, Rajasing or whatever it's called. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. Let me put it, put them over here. My 
too close. No. Okay, so I'm guessing he's right. Discover can't really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's gonna start without me even saying it. Oh, wait a minute. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again. And on an even bigger scale. <sighs> You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Privislavic's encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who works for them, and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik near to Sasau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. <laughs> but then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Privis Lavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad. On the investigation. And the next thing. No. Okay. I think they nerfed the game. A little <laughs> because uh well i mean you know i i'm like on the tail end that this game has been out for a long time and i've seen other gameplay of course but i just you know i don't want to spoil anything you know it's like i've never <laughs> seen it or know it was gonna happen or go going what's going on but um i've noticed in some Gameplay. Oh, where did they? Oh, duh! I left my horse. I was like, "Where?" <laughs> I thought I had just left it out here, but I put it in the sta stable or stall. But um, in some instances, it looks like the the outcome, the dialogue has changed. But uh, you know, I'm not gonna fuss about it. It's um. It's a good game. I mean, you know, we got um, obviously we have Valhalla is out. Call of Duty Cold War will be coming out in a few days. Uh, the new Xbox is out. I'm going to wait until the end of the week before I pick all three. And then um, the first, my first gameplay will be the streaming. And then I'll continue. And then I'll, um, <laughs> now usually I would go and talk to Teresa, but I'm just right now, I just want to continue and get this, you know, game going so I can, you know, concentrate on the new games that are, that are out. Technically, I need to. Um, 
like it's not going to make too much difference, but it would be, <laughs> I should just leave the horse in a stable somewhere, but it, it's not going to make much difference. It's, let's see, give me my map. I'm going to fast travel over there. Sure, we run into it. See, now I can see the cursor. Any any uh, bad guys we run into, we'll um, you know avoid them. Okay, we're here. So let's go ahead. I really don't need my horse. The, um, let me see. Well, Sasa was just. Just down the ways. Let me see. I really needed to walk. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You know, if you you're become separated from your horse, you can just whistle for it later. But it's just weird just to <laughs> just to leave him out here. <laughs> Is it over here? I feel more. I feel better leaving him somewhere <laughs> and then you know just in the middle of the can't you know eat from pot go into the stockade and then uh, something happens and I never come back <laughs> And you know they you don't want them to get the horse so There aren't any quests in progress. What is he talking about? <laughs> you don't need raiders, I don't think. Yeah, we'll do that later. And then lost and found. I don't, I don't understand what that's about. Vengeance. This is the whole. No purpose why we're here, and then the guy says that is what we're working on right now. So we don't really need to do anything else except this. <laughs> Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I, I guess I, I didn't have the, <laughs> the, the dice. Hi. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house, at the top.
That was easy. Completed. Okay, we have to take a look around here. Set the camp and the enemy. Um. <laughs> so loud, I can't see anything. Oh, there's some horses. Talk to somebody. Hey, I'm new here. Can you tell me what's going on? Just what it looks like. Boozing. What else is that they do? Some stupid fuckers train to keep up their fighting form. Why bother? With this kind of force, we'll go through any opposition like a knife through butter. Have you heard anything about what we'll be doing next? Of course. Early tomorrow morning, there will be a big sortie. <sighs> Everyone around here knows I'm that. So tired. How did you end up here, anyway? <laughs> Me? You're a bit green around the gills, aren't you? Me? I'm right at home here, see? Whenever the lords Killing, are fighting each other, fighting, you'll find me and my trusty sword on one side of the whichever pays best. <laughs> Have you seen Eric? I need to speak with him. Oh, him? He'll be somewhere up in the ruins at the top. His armor's that bright. You can't miss him. Okay. Everybody's, you know, more or less pretty good, decent armor. <laughs> okay, that's part of the. Those tents look pretty Fucking impressive. Weather. These fellows aren't porters, that's for sure. Fucking camp. Bad enough for this shit. Oh. I was looking at the, you know, the, the, uh, the wall. What do you need it for? Oh. Call it <laughs> so tired. It must be us yes, up here. Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. Skink everywhere. Should have stayed home. This must be where the commanders are. This way? Is this one? No, this one. It's an open door. Nothing in here. That must be this one. There's no place. Oh, this is back behind.
<laughs> so now it's like. <laughs> Hitting the button and now nothing's working. Let's see. It's not like I want to start and stop the game, but you know, I'll end up back in, um, that's all. Maybe what I'll do is go back down to camp and uh, see if I can find somebody, some place to sleep, and then save the game here. Maybe. Wait. No, <laughs> nothing's working. Oh, sorry. Over here. No, he's leaving. He's Somebody's already here. Doesn't say to hold down. Is there something I missed? So let me see what the. Maybe I'm supposed to look around more or something. Report to Eric in the camp. Over here, maybe. Ah, <laughs> that's what it is. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery. Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat. Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanya. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. Okay. Ranik. He's the one that we got some lessons from when the game started.
But uh, we won't tell him that. <laughs> we won't remind him. Let's see. Uh, give it the final A. Uh oh, where did A go? It's over here somewhere? Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, here he is. Uh, let me see. Make sure. Make sure I have the right weapons. Okay. Piercing arrow, dagger, bow, heavy shield. Of course, I don't have it selected. And my blade. <laughs> this is probably cheap. Uh, okay. Now we can talk to him. Are you Combat Master Vanya? <laughs> Aye, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with the sword. They could use another name. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. I've never seen you before in my life. Hmm, really? I'd stake my neck I know you from somewhere. Well, never mind. My memory isn't what it used to be. Too much drink. <laughs> or not enough. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right. Let's see what you're made of. Okay. Didn't I tell Came you we're going to fight here? We yeah, right. <laughs> Where are you going? I thought you wanted to fight. Did. Where are you going? I thought you wanted to fight. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hunda. <laughs> Hit him again. <laughs> hey, cracker. <laughs> Jesus, you got me. You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. <laughs> There's no room to fight. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak is past it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. <laughs> Go and see Combat Master. Okay, we do that. Yeah, that. Go back to Eric. Can I go this way? No, not really. Okay, let's put up our sword and helmet. I mean, uh, sword and shield. You always gotta check to see what you know what you're armed with because <laughs> when when uh, you know you move from place to place or save the game or whatever it changes you end up not having what you're supposed to have <laughs> and when you really need it you know it's a trip okay yeah split between those guys so I was at the wrong door oh that's a nice horse Hmm. <laughs> so his is all covered up. Okay. Let's have fun. Let's start some some the excitement. <laughs> so how is he? I don't have any helmet. What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I. 
What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he should be, you know, Come keep around. his uh, emotions in check, but... I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own sake. I safety. understand. And ours, of course. How upset he is. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. Uh-oh. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. But beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzik still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? I wonder hmm. if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you, and I'll be there to see it. <laughs> I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realize that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now... With the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. Ah! Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I had. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. <laughs> when he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg or Sir Hinek, the Dry Devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. Ah. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now... I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> Knock some manners <laughs> into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. Well, we kind of hinted at he knew that that, that you know, we knew that that he might be able his father because he mentioned it. Jesus, that probably worked you over. 
here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? Zvishek. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, be quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. So do you want my help or not? Apron me, Captain. Oh, yeah. Do you know that you find out where you I want to get <laughs> you out of here? But if you'd rather, I can leave you to get you on a quick meal. Shit again. kicked out of you by Ishtran's bruiser. Tell me, really. Why don't you escape yourself? Why is your plan was about my stuff? Let's go there and leave me alone. <laughs> So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. We have to tr trust each other. We can fight out. Are you some kind of coward? <laughs> this is it. Three, this is better. Twelve, three. But I do care. I don't believe a word you say. I know you're I really something, don't. so you'd better try harder to convince me, or I'm not going anywhere with you. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. Hmm. A bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily <laughs> make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? I mean, seriously, Look, if you think about I it, it you know, it's, for that, it's I just kind of weird. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Ishtar yeah, would want from Sir Rat. Why shouldn't we help each other? I just really think this is all part of their plan. Why do we want to? Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my person. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. Okay... What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore mm. something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way <laughs> you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you, and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang you. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. Uh, why don't you escape Why yourself? don't you go on your own? What would That's I do? Mistake. I've been left alone in this world and I'm an outlaw. How long do you think it'll take before I'm swinging from a gibbet? I need to get some coin and get the hell out of here. Okay. All right, then. Let's get out of here. 
But if he goes, if he goes someplace that's what I want that no one knows him, they but wouldn't first, know he's a dick. Swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. Just fine and work. That you'll pay me too. You have my word. Some money. What's the plan? All right, I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of a stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. <laughs> but that's all. Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you. You're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck. Now they're saving. Well, it's bloody all right. Technically, he should go and get his things, but uh, this is why I, you know, decided to wear what I just what I'm wearing, what I was wearing. Not to, not to. It's not a big deal if I get my stuff or not. And I need to. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.